Hi, I'm Dr. David Ilson. I'm a GI medical oncologist from Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. And I wanted to comment on some exciting presentations at, in the upper GI session um, at ASCO 2020. Uh, the real excitement was uh, some new data presented uh, for immunotherapy drugs in uh, esophageal cancer and two uh, newly presented studies looking at immune checkpoint inhibitors in esophageal squamous cancer. Uh, the first uh, trial was uh, ESCORT-1, which looked at uh, uh, the drug uh, carmelizumab, uh, which is a um, uh, PD-1 inhibitor. Uh, on this trial in China, uh, nearly 600 patients with advanced squamous cancer of the esophagus were randomized to chemotherapy with paclitaxel cisplatin with or without um, carmelizumab. Uh, and the trial had co-primary endpoints of progression-free and overall survival. Uh, and both were met. Um, uh, a little bit more than 50% of patients were PDL1 positive. And this study showed a significant uh, survival improvement uh, of about three months with a hazard ratio of 0.7, improvements in progression free survival, and a response rate improvement from 62 to 72%, uh, as well as uh, improvement in uh, response duration. Uh, they also noted that benefits were seen in patients that were both PDL1 positive and PDL1 negative. And I suspect that this drug uh, will get regulatory approval in China for first line treatment of patients with advanced uh, squamous cancer of the esophagus. Uh, equally exciting uh, results are presented from Checkmate uh, 648. This was the largest global trial ever conducted in squamous cancer of the esophagus treating uh, uh, 970 patients. This trial looked at nivolumab uh, plus chemotherapy with uh, uh, Folfox versus Folfox chemotherapy alone versus another.